The largest recall in U.S. history is for Takata airbags, and despite lots of publicity, AAA says more than 15 million cars are still on the road with the defective airbag. <laughs> About a month before Elva Ruiz gave birth to her baby boy, she got a recall notice in the mail saying her BMW had a Takata airbag on the driver's side. I really didn't act on it because uh, at that point in time, I was pretty busy with the baby shower and getting things ready. Now that he's here, Elva wants to keep him safe, and so she hasn't driven her car. It sits in the driveway. Thinking back and, you know, now having my baby here, you know, we've probably should have had the service done a lot earlier. Let me explain just how serious this is. Earlier this month, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, released this PSA, urging drivers to complete the Takata recall. To date, 16 people in the U.S. have died, and hundreds have reported serious injuries. Most of the consumers that we talk to they either are unaware that they have the recall or it's just an issue of I don't have the time. Kirsten Scove is with MotorSafety.org. They help locate consumers affected by recalls and connect them with local dealers to get the repair completed. And now some automakers are making that process more simple by providing a mobile recall service where the mechanic comes to you and completes the recall in the convenience of your own driveway or while you're at work. BMW of Long Beach changed out Elvis Takata airbag while she fed her baby inside. Automakers are now incentivizing dealerships to go mobile. They're pushing behind it to get us to get out and satisfy as many recalls as we can to help clear their name and help to take care of that, the car line. Not every automaker or dealer offers mobile recall services, but the numbers are growing, according to Recall Masters, which runs MotorSafety.org. We're trying to do, you know, as much as we can to get dealers to adopt it because it really makes all the difference in the world. We find that, you know, of the consumers that haven't had their recall repaired, if you offer mobile to come to them and make it convenient at their home or office, about 12% or higher will all of a sudden respond and take you up on it. Now, you can go to NHTSA's website or MotorSafety.org to see if your car is under a recall, especially if you bought a used car, because you may not be getting your recall notices in the mail. So you just go on there, put your VIN number in, and you'll see any open recalls that you have on your car. And then if you want to see if anybody does mobile recall, then you can connect through MotorSafety.org with one of your uh, local dealerships, and hopefully they offer that mobile recall. But That's aren't great. they supposed to send you notices in the mail? They Any are. recall that I've gotten, it's, it's yeah. come through the mail. They yeah. are, but a lot of times when people sell, their cars multiple times and it changes hands, yeah, that information doesn't always stay in wow. you know, NHTSA's database. So that's why, especially if you have a used car or if you've moved a lot and maybe you haven't updated your information, you need to know because chances are maybe the person who bought that car first is getting those recall notices and putting them in the trash and you're driving around yeah. with a potentially deadly airbag. Yeah, and so. I just looked it up. You're right, it's right there on the front page. So yep. it's very easy to do. Christine, Christine, thank you. <laughs> Can Two on Your Side help you? All you need to do is email two on your side at cbs.com. You can tell us about your problem. You can also tweet us. Use the hashtag two on your side. And Christine, we'll see.